Did you know that Italy has ambitious plans to construct the world's longest suspension bridge? This bridge aims to connect the island of Sicily to the Italian mainland, promising significantly reduced travel times and enhanced connectivity with the rest of the country. However, there's a major obstacle standing in the way. The chosen region for this megastructure, the Strait of Messina, presents formidable challenges, including hurricane-like winds, an active fault line, and potential interference from the Italian Mafia. Despite these obstacles, Italy is determined to proceed with the project. Join me as we delve into the complexities of the controversial Strait of Messina Bridge. Sicily Sicily is the biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea and has a lot of people living there. It's important to Italy because it makes a lot of money from farming, making wine, fishing, and tourism. Even though it's so important, getting to Sicily from the mainland isn't easy. There's no bridge or tunnel to go directly there. You have to take a ferry, which takes about 30 to 40 minutes, if everything goes smoothly. This makes Sicily kind of cut off from the rest of Italy and Europe's big roads. To understand how strange this is, you could drive from the south of Italy to London without stopping, or even going further to the north of Great Britain. Even though it seems like a good idea to build something to connect Sicily to the mainland, it hasn't happened yet. Many plans were made in the past, but nothing has been built yet. Past Proposals for Bridges The oldest bridge to Sicily was built way back in ancient Rome, around 252 BCE. A Roman leader named Metellus made it using floating barrels and wood pieces. It was strong enough to carry over a hundred war elephants across the water. Over the years, people talked about building more bridges, but nothing happened. In 1969, the Italian government even held a competition to design a bridge. But it didn't work out. Some people suggested building an underwater tunnel, like the one between Great Britain and Europe. But the water in the Strait of Messina is too deep and has strong currents, so that idea didn't work either. Then, in 1981, the Italian government started a company to make a new plan for a bridge. Finally, in 2006, they had a detailed plan ready for the bridge we have today. It took more than 30 years to make it happen, but at least it's done now. Strait of Messina Bridge This big project will be the biggest of its kind ever. It will have the longest part stretching for 3,300 meters. That's longer than any other suspension bridge in the world. The towers holding it up will be tall, even taller than the Empire State Building. When it's finished, it will connect Sicily to the Italian mainland. The deck will be wide and strong, with space for cars and trains. Instead of taking a 40-minute ferry ride, you'll be able to drive across in just four minutes. It's designed to handle lots of vehicles and trains every hour. The construction is planned to minimize its impact on the sea and marine life. It's also made to avoid the deep water and strong currents in the strait. That's why it's going to be a bridge instead of a tunnel. The plans for this bridge were made back in 2006, but construction hasn't started yet. The reason? Politics. Why this bridge was cancelled. The project for the bridge started in 2006, but has been stopped and started a few times by the Italian parliament. There are many reasons why it hasn't happened, like a big crack in the ground where the bridge would go and not enough money. For 17 years, the project was just talked about in Parliament and didn't go anywhere. It became a symbol of Italy's failure. People even started saying, I'll do it when the bridge to Messina is finished, meaning they'd never do it. But in 2023, things started to change. The Italian government finally said yes to the bridge after years of planning. They called it a big day for Italy. They're planning to start building it in June 2024, and it'll cost about $12.7 billion. But even though it's been approved, there's still a big challenge. Building the bridge, it's going to be like nothing else ever built before. Fault line and earthquakes. The location of the bridge is important. Even though it seems like a good spot, there's a hidden problem. The water it crosses sits right on a fault line where two big parts of the Earth's crust meet. In 1908, a big earthquake happened there, and it killed a lot of people and wrecked a bunch of stuff. The bridge is being built right where that earthquake was. To make sure it can handle earthquakes, the bridge is built to withstand really big ones. The towers holding it up are on solid ground, and they have special shapes to help them move during earthquakes. Also, the long deck of the bridge helps it handle earthquakes better by spreading out the shaking. 
Another challenge is the strong winds in the narrow area. Wind. The winds in the strait are very strong, especially from the south. They get even stronger as they squeeze through the narrow gap. These winds can be as fast as 120 kilometers per hour, which is dangerous for bridges like this one. To deal with this, the bridge's deck is designed to be shaped like an airplane wing. This helps the wind go under the bridge instead of pushing against it. Experts think the bridge can handle winds up to 300 kilometers per hour, even stronger than most hurricanes. But even with smart engineering, some problems can't be fixed just by building a good bridge. The Mafia Another important aspect of the Messina Strait Bridge project is how it will affect the two regions it connects, Sicily and Calabria. These regions are among the poorest in Italy. The big gap between the rich north and the poor south has led to powerful criminal groups, like the Mafia, becoming strong in these areas. Sicily has the Cosa Nostra, and Calabria has the Andrangheta. These groups are known for getting involved in businesses and big projects like this bridge, using threats and extortion to control them and make money. With such a huge project, these groups might try to profit from it illegally, which could make the project even more expensive. Despite this risk, Italy's infrastructure minister says they'll make sure only the best companies work on the project and take measures to stop the mafia from interfering. Do you think the Messina Strait Bridge will finally be finished this time? Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.